Hey everyone, how are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. I have got so much to share with you tonight. Welcome to Snapshot Sacramento, this week at the theater. It's May. We're in the merry, merry month of May. All right. We're brought to you by the Sacramento Regional Theater Alliance. We are so stoked right now because it is right smack dab in the middle of our big day of giving fundraising time. We have been having some amazing events already. Um, I've been to some for other nonprofits. We're participating in our own. I know you're probably getting information from your favorite nonprofit about the things that they're doing out there in the local community. So please, please, please go to bigdayofgiving.org and support your favorite nonprofit, of which I hope we're one, okay? Support Sarda, support some of the other community theaters that are part of Big Day of Giving because they're out there trying to put the monies together to keep bringing you amazing entertainment. And speaking of amazing entertainment, the last couple of weeks I've been telling you about a cabaret that Sarda was going to sponsor. Well, it happened this last Saturday night. Oh my gosh, if you weren't there, you missed it. But you didn't miss a whole lot, and I'm going to bring you some excerpts tonight from the cabaret, plus some messages from some of our board members telling you why they support Sarda and why you should support Sarda for this big day of giving. I'd like to also thank right now one of our major donors, and they gave a, a very generous donation to us. We'd like to thank the Odd Fellows of Sacramento. Uh, for their very, very generous donation to Sarda. It really kicked us off for this big day of giving. If you weren't listening before, I know you've been hearing it for a while, and yes, big day of giving, the portals have been open since the 20th of April, so people have started giving, but it's going to ramp up. Our big, big final day will be this coming Thursday, so you still got two more days to give if you're one of these people and you want to wait till Thursday when all the stuff is happening. Okay, we're going to have some special drawings throughout our day on Thursday to give these really lovely gift baskets. We've got wine and chocolate gift baskets. We've got gifts to Asha Urban Baths downtown. We've got tickets to Woodland Opera House. We've got tickets to the Sacramento Theater Company. We have a uh, basket for dog lovers, a basket for cat lovers. We have a number of different gift baskets that we're going to be giving away throughout the day on Thursday. On Thursday. So if you want to wait till Thursday to give, you can be in that drawing. However, if you give early, we've got uh, early bird gifts going out too. So if you're one of those early donors, you could be in for that very first drawing for that very first basket, which is a really nice one. I think there's about four chocolate bars, three bo bottles of wine, you know, in that one. So um, you could win one of those. It could be great. Um, what a nice way to kick off a good spring afternoon with a glass of wine on your patio, right? So let's get started. We'll talk about Big Day of Giving as we're moving along. There's a lot happening, so stick with me. Stick with me. Here we go. Oh yes, please visit our website. Our website has a, a button on it that'll link you directly back to uh, the Big Day of Giving website. So you can do it in two clicks or you can go to Big Day of Giving, type in Sarda Theaters, we'll pop right up, you can give right there. We're very good about asking for and taking your money. That's what we wanna do right now. We've got so many things that are happening. You'll hear about our theater stipend program. You will hear about our youth education program, scholarship program. We've already given away a scholarship this year uh, and look to give away some more. So help us do that. You can earmark what you want the money to go to, uh, general funds, scholarship donation, wherever you'd like to, to donate that, we will take it. We appreciate you so much. So big day of giving, give now. It's not coming, it's happening. Give now, to again, to your favorite nonprofit, of which I hope we're one. You can give to more than one place. It's okay. You can, you can split those donations up and spread that wealth around. It would be wonderful. So bigdayofgiving.org uh, slash organization slash SARTA. Here's our first message from our first board member, 
who is our president of the board, Leslie Adiego, telling you why she would encourage you to be a part of the giving this time. Please join me and the other board members of the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance in giving on Big Day of Giving on Thursday, May 4th. We hope you'll support the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance, which promotes inclusion and diversity and collaboration. We'd love to support young people and actors and singers and dancers of all ages. Please join us. Thank you. What she said. Please join us in helping and supporting and giving. We want Please you to give. join me Whoops, and the sorry. other board members of the Sacramento so Area Regional on. Theater Alliance in giving on Big Day of Giving on Thursday, May 4th. We hope you'll support the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance, which promotes inclusion and diversity and collaboration. We'd love to support young people and actors and singers and dancers of all ages. Please join us. Thank you. Please join. You got to know we were hyped up for that night because all of these were recorded at the event that night. There was so much energy in the room. It was just great. Now, I've got some more special announcements of things that are going on in our community, too. So we're going to do this and we'll probably look at another few of these videos along the way. So the Main Street Theater Works wants to help have you come and help them celebrate 20 years at the Kennedy Mine Amphitheater. They're having a party at the mine, which is going to be their spring fundraiser. It's going to be on Friday and Saturday, May 18th, May 19th, pardon me, and the 20th. Uh, doors are going to open at 7.15 for the guests. They're going to have a dessert bar. There's going to be a show. Um, they're having a matinee performance on Sunday the 21st. There's going to be desserts. It should be great fun. So if you'd like to support the Main Street Theater Works group and celebrate their 20 years at the Kennedy Mine Theater, Amphitheater, then go join them for this fundraiser May 19th and 20th and 21st. So get those resumes and headshots together. It's time for some auditions. And I just added a couple before the show started tonight. Um, Davis Musical Theater Company's Young Performers Theater is announcing their auditions for just a classic, The Wizard of Oz. I mean, you know, come on, you know you want to go sing somewhere over the rainbow. Um, so DMTC is having these auditions for Wizard of Oz on Monday, May 8th. That's this coming Monday, May 8th, and Tuesday, May 9th. They will be at 4.30 p.m., and they will have select callbacks on Wednesday, May 9th, uh, also at 4.30 p.m. This will all be taking place at the Gene Henderson Performing Arts Center out in Davis. So get out there. Audition for this amazing show, The Wizard of Oz. It's going to be running in July. So you've got plenty of time to get your resumes, headshots, and your dancing shoes on, because you know there's going to be dancing. Uh, they're going to have choreography and musical talent there. It's going to be a great show. The Wizard of Oz. Here's another upcoming audition that's going to be happening at Roseville Theater Arts Academy for the uh, show called Children of Eden. Children of Eden. The auditions will be on May 16th at 5 p.m. And callbacks will be on May 17th at 5 p.m. This is being directed by Adrian Dritz Mars and musical direction by Jennifer Vaughn. Children of Eden. It's going to open in August of this year at Roseville Theater Arts Academy. Another set of auditions. They've got open auditions right now for Noel Coward's Blythe Spirit. They're going to be auditioning for this show on Sunday, May 21st at 2 o'clock. And again on Monday, May 22nd at 6.30 in the evening. These are going to be up at a Volcano Theater Company. So, you know, if you've heard the rumors and want to be part of this ghostly production, you need to get up there because they need five women and two men and one ghost, it says. <coughs> Pardon me, which I think is just amazing that they're um, auditioning for ghosts, too. This show is going to run from September 15th to October 15th, so it'll be a great kickoff to the Halloween season. Excuse me a second. Let me clear the cobwebs there for a moment. 
So auditions for Blythe Spirit up at Volcano Theater Company. They're also holding auditions for Arsenic and Old Lace. This is a classic, classic comedy, dark comedy, very funny. Auditions are going to be on Saturday, June 10th at 10 a.m. and Sunday, June 11th at 6 p.m. for Arsenic and Old Lace. Uh, it's directed by Bob Crooner and it's produced by the State Theater Acting Company. They're gonna be calling people back on Monday, June um, 12th at 7 p.m. And, and all of it will be held at the Auburn State Theater up on Lincoln Way. Auditions will be cold readings from the script as well as side roles that are, and everything is available. There's, there's no already cast roles, so you could go for anything in this production of Arsenic and Old Lace. Time to talk about the big day of giving again. I will be talking about this tonight and I will probably come back again on Thursday, which is the actual big day of giving, and present this one more time for anybody who had a chance, who didn't get a chance to see it, may have missed it, missed some of the highlights. We're going to talk about this again because we really want to make sure you have an opportunity to support your favorite nonprofit. And we hope SARTA will be one of those nonprofits that you support. So here's another comment from some of our board Good members. Good evening. Uh, my name is Kate, board member for the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance. Um, when I think about SARTA, uh, I think about community. Uh, we have so many amazing community theaters here in the region. Um, and we have all of these big budget producers, but we have so many small little producing groups full of amazing talents. And uh, one of our goals here at SARTA is to uh, give them the opportunities uh, to get them in the spotlight as well, uh, to fund artist projects, to uh, start a micro grants program for theaters, um, all kinds of things to kind of engage our community. Uh, we've started some new programs in the past year. We have our Youth Educational Scholarship Program. We've started a weekly Twitch broadcast where board member Iris Diamond brings you the latest in uh, community news, uh, including community conversations with some of our partner theaters. And uh, we have a lot of exciting things we're working on to um, try and increase opportunities uh, in the uh, in the region for um, both artists and producing companies. Uh, we are gearing up for the big day of giving. We hope you will consider helping us uh, reach these goals. We've got a lot of exciting things in the works and uh, your support would just mean the world to us. So, alrighty, we uh, will see you on May 4th for the big day of giving. That was board member Kate they are amazing and they are a hardworking part of our team. I got to tell you, it's so exciting to be able to work with all these people who support community theater and are there for us. And, um, you know, just just take the time to to be there for us and help us with all of these things. This is a volunteer organization also. None of us, all of us, as I like to say, all of us have day jobs, you know, <laughs> So we scurry home from those and then put things like this together so that we can share with you all what's going on in our world, our brave new world. So we're glad, we're so, so glad that you come and support these things. Now, I have something exciting to share because this is gonna be highlights from our cabaret that we had. So just listen to some of this amazing talent that was shared with us the other night. I, I hope you can get a, a short glimpse of what we got to hear uh, when we were there. So here we go.
wasn't that good? Oh my gosh. Well, if you missed it, you know, we're discussing doing it again. So, I mean, we, we got nothing but rave reviews. It was so amazing. We really want to put this on again. We want to do maybe a reprise of this one, which was, you know, as you could hear, themed from a lot of the Disney movies uh, and, and Broadway shows uh, again, <laughs> because it was so well received. And, and I would highly encourage when we do it again, bring your children. We, we had some children in the house, but you know, I, I really think they would enjoy. There were excerpts from Frozen and Little Mermaid. It was it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And we're looking at producing a whole different cabaret, possibly in November. So this was a good thing. So we're going to do it again. Help us get these kinds of things up and running so our community can be a part of this. There were about 18 people that volunteered their time to come out and put this show on. Nobody got paid except the guy running sound. God bless our tech people. Um, and, you know, we couldn't do it without them, but we also couldn't do it without these amazing community volunteers, this um, outstanding talent. I mean, the caliber of singing that we had was just off the charts, amazing, epic. I, I can't put enough superlatives on how good the show was and it was a really good show so we're gonna do it again and with your help we can do this more often get more people up there and showcase their talent I would love to see this happen at least four times a year and have Sarda sponsor it um, we're in a unique position not being a producing theater we don't have to have a particular space we can go find one and call everybody in and go we found a stage put something amazing on it and that's what's happening we have got our tonight starring series that'll be uh kicking off in june in fact our first show is june 11th let me grab my notes so i can make sure i don't mess it up okay it's going to be june 11th we're going to be putting it on at big idea theater over on del paso boulevard it'll start at 6 p.m and um uh we're going to uh have people who have always wanted to do a particular show but they're kind of stuck in maybe their own genre maybe all you've ever done is comedy and you'd really like to do this dramatic piece well, this may be your opportunity. Let us get the rights to the show and we'll give you a night to put that on. It's a reader's theater style, so you don't have to have a bunch of rehearsals, which, you know, is something that is prohibitive for a lot of folks. They don't have a lot of time to commit to extended rehearsals and then an extended run of a show. So if it can be tonight starring, this is your shot at it, you know put it into the world and see how the world receives it. So we're very excited to um, be sponsoring this very first one. And in conjunction with Big Idea Theater, we want to thank them profusely for volunteering to let us use their space. Uh, we will be using other theater spaces around town as we move through this series. We're very excited about that too more things to be excited about. Let's see what's playing in town right now because you've got a lot of shows that are going on. So let's take a look at a few of these. Um, there's uh, several that are gonna be closing this weekend. So this is the final weekend for over at the Sophia Theater for Winnie the Pooh. So again, these wonderful feel good classic kind of items. This is by A.A. A. Milne and uh, adapted by Sean Patrick Nill. This is the wonderful story of Christopher Robin and all of his friends from the Hundred Acre Wood. So if you have someone who would love to see this, or if you would just love to see it, get your tickets because it's closing this weekend. Winnie the Pooh over at B Street Theater at the Sophia Theater. Green Room Confidential is another one that's going to be closing this weekend. This is Green Room Confidential, Unvarnished Tales of Women in Theater. It's playing at the Unitarian Universalist Society of Sacramento Church and is presented in conjunction with Theater One. Another final weekend, Mel Brooks's musical Young Frankenstein will be closing this weekend at the Woodland Opera House. Everybody has probably seen and loves this movie. 
If you haven't seen the show, you're in for a real treat. It's an outstanding cast. Woodland Opera House Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. And then again on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Mel Brooks musical, The Young Frankenstein. This is also the final weekend at Chautauqua Playhouse for Wind in the Willows. So if you'd like to finish following the story of Frog and Toad and all of the inhabitants of the Ritter, a river, Ratty and Badger and Mole and all of those guys, then you better get out there this weekend. Get your tickets for Chautauqua Playhouse's production of The Wind in the Willows because it's closing this weekend. This is it. Mark your calendars. But we've got some time left on some of these, so let's take a look at what's still going to be running past this weekend. Prisoner of Second Avenue is still running up at the Cobblestone Theater in Volcano. This will run through May 14th, so you still have some time to see it. Saturday and Sunday evenings at 7.30. And, um, fr I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday evenings at 7.30. And then Sundays, it's a 2 o'clock matinee. Um, and, and the seating is limited because it's in their historic Cobblestone Theater, so it's a little bit smaller. So you don't want to just drive up there on a whim. You want to get your tickets ahead of time so you can make sure that you have a seat to see this outstanding Neil Simon show, Great Comedy, The Prisoner of Second Avenue. This is the final, uh, no, it's not the final weekend. We'll, I'll save that for next week. But Sylvia is still running through May 14th over at Chautauqua Playhouse also. So this will be another show that you could get a chance to go and see, but you still have another weekend. It's not closing just yet. But I think I'll leave that there for next week because it will be the final weekend then. Um, we've also got Harvey still playing at Sutter Street Theater. This will be playing also through May 14th on Saturdays and Sundays at 7.30 and Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays. Why am I saying Saturdays and Sundays? I just want to loop that weekend in together really hard. Fridays and Saturdays, 7.30. Sundays, this one's matinee is at 4.30. So ideally, if you went to a 2 o'clock matinee, you could probably make a 4.30 matinee also. Hmm, you might be able to see two shows in a weekend on the same day. Who knows? Uh, but Sutter Street Theater is still showing Harvey. Go see the story about this six-foot puka. It's a great comedy. Green Valley Theater Company is still running their production, Romeo and Juliet, the 80s rock musical. Now, if you haven't heard any of the buzz about this yet, people are leaving the theater singing. We're uh, dancing through the intermissions because there's just all this great 80s music that you grew up with and, and absolutely love, and you'll be singing along, and it was wonderful. I've seen it a couple of times now. Uh, it's playing at Westminster Presbyterian Church on 1300 Inn Street, Inn as in Nancy. There's plenty of parking in the lot right behind the church, and they tell you essentially they've taken Shakespeare's timeless love story and turned it into an MTV music video with screaming rock vocals and dance and guitar solos and lots of drums. It's outstanding, absolutely outstanding. If you're not tapping your foot and dancing along, then I think you fell asleep in the theater. And there's too much noise for you to fall asleep in the theater. The, the sword fighting in front of you alone will keep you awake. Romeo and Juliet. The 80s rock musical playing through May 14th over with Green Valley Theater Company over at Westminster Presbyterian Church. Another one that's playing right now, this is by the Empire Arts Collective. It's A Familiar Feeling, a play about ghosts and families and cycles of triumph and trauma that reverberate through generations. So they are playing through May 13th. Empire Arts Collective. This production is held in room 13 of the Sierra 2 Center um, that's on 24th just off of Broadway. Uh, room 13 is upstairs. There is a wheelchair lift so it's fully accessible for anybody who needs to get up there and they do have some sensory uh, support things like sunglasses and um, earplugs because there's there's noises and lights and things like that. Uh, so if you are, are sensory sensitive, you can still go see this show. Uh, the performances are the doors open at 7:30 and the show is from 8 to 9:30. Uh, with all of their the May 5th and 6th, so this weekend's performances will be the ones that are sensory friendly. Uh, so you can get your plugs, you can get your sunglasses and things to help you be able to sit through this show. We want to make sure that everyone can enjoy theater. 
because it is for everyone, especially community theater. This is why they're putting it on. So, you know, any of us Joe Blows off the street can come in and enjoy some quality theater. So a familiar feeling playing over at the Sierra 2 Center, room 13. If you like music by Neil Sadaka, and I mean, who doesn't? He's got so many hits out there over the years. Breaking Up is Hard to Do is playing with Lincoln Theater Company through May 14th, so you've still got time to get tickets to this. This is another one where you'll probably be singing along to all the music that they're going to do. It's a real retrospective of music by Neil Sadaka. Breaking Up is Hard to Do at the Lincoln Theater Company. Get your tickets. Now playing also at the um, City Theater of Sacramento and at Sacramento City College, The Alchemist by Ben Johnson, and it's an adaptation and directed by Adrian Shear. It's playing through May 13th, so this will be the closeout of their season and the school year for them uh, at the community colleges. They've got some great ticket prices because general admission is only $18. Usually it's a $20 or $25 cost to get in to see, and sometimes more, to get in to see good theater. And you can get in there for $18. Uh, less if you are a senior or SARTA member. Yes, there's perks to being a SARTA member. So check out our webpage and become a SARTA member. We send you a neat card, electronic card and everything that you can show to the theaters that participate because we have a lot of our theaters that do participate and give our members a discount to say thank you for supporting SARTA. So you can become a SARTA member. Go check out our website. Um, and if they have spaces for, um, plenty of spaces in there uh, for th that are accessible and student tickets and things like that are only $10 because we know students, they're kind of broke. You know, and it's hard, it's hard when you've gotta buy food and gas and books and everything else and go to school, right? So, Disney's Newsies is playing through May 21st. I hear this one had an amazing opening weekend. Um, got a chance to hear it firsthand from some of the folks who were in it. Uh, this is playing at the Gene Henderson Performing Arts Center out on Penna Drive in Davis. Davis Musical Theater Company uh, is underwritten by Go Susie Goldschmidt in honor of David Goldschmidt, and we really like to acknowledge the folks who do that. These are the same kind of folks that we're looking for who, who give on Big Day of Giving. They want to support community theater. They see it as valuable, as an addition, a support, a benefit to our communities, to our society, to have the arts and supporting the arts is important. So we like to thank people who make endowments like that in the name of loved ones and, and, and like that, who probably were great theater supporters when they were with us. And now their name will always be remembered because they're helping another theater company continue to bring you outstanding performances. So Disney's Newsies opening on the main stage Davis Musical Theater Company. Go out and take a look. Here's one. I love the name of this one. I've just enjoyed this one ever since it came through. This one is playing through June 4th. Uh, tickets are at the, at the bstreettheater.org. It's playing at the Sophia, and it's called Brokeology. I think at one time or another, most of us have majored a little bit in some brokeology um, <laughs> because sometimes it's just challenging. So it's another great story about a family working through all the things they need to work through, um, just dealing with life, some of the challenges of getting older, having adult children, all of these trials that you go through. Um, Preview they had preview tickets that were at a really good price of, of $20, so now they're back up to their regular price of $25, but get your tickets for Brokeology over at the Sophia Theater, bstreettheatercompany.org. Well, let's talk about some big day of giving again, because now is the time to give. If you've considered supporting in any way, I mean, if it's, it's we have an option for you to become an evergreen donor. And what we mean by that is you don't have to think about giving a donation each month. You can set it up with your card or with your bank that each month a donation is taken out. So if you want to give us $5 a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, um, 
we would be happy to have you as an evergreen donor. That allows us to know that we have an income stream so that when an application for a scholarship for one of our young people to go to theater camp or workshop comes through, we can say, yes, we can fund that for you. Here's $300, here's $400 to help a child go and enjoy that kind of enrichment. If a theater company comes to us as part of the stipend program and says, hey, we, we, we're really tight right now, but we'd like to get the rights to this show, or we'd like to have some money to help us offset the rental or the reservation for this theater space so we can put up a production, we'd like to be able to help sponsor that. So... You know, that's what your money's going to, uh, is to be able to let us help other community theaters keep doing what they're doing. So more from the big day of giving. Please, if you haven't already done so, donate. And here's another board me message. Gee, I wonder who this one's going to be from. Hi, I'm here to ask for your help with a wonderful cause, which is the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance, SARTA. SARTA has been a theater support group for over 39 years here in the Sacramento area, working with community theaters, um, parents, children's group, youth education divisions. We have a great need because if you didn't know, community theater is really unpaid and done by all these volunteers, much like us at SARTA who volunteer to do these things. So big day of giving is our one chance each year to really reach out to you and say, first off, thank you for supporting community theater and please help us continue that process by donating to SARTA on this big day of giving. We would really appreciate it. And by the way, go see some community theater. There's some marvelous talent out there. Thanks everyone. Yes, I had to give a plug too. Come on now, you know I had to. It was the only thing I could do. Um, so looking at that, I'm asking you, I'm, I'm imploring you to please go support your local community theater. If you are an actor uh, out there or a director or a stage manager, we need you. We need all those people. We have a section in our website where you can sign up to be a volunteer because every now and again, people ask us, hey, do you know a, a stage manager? Do you know anybody who does lighting or can do sound? And we would love to be able to give them your name. Oh, yeah, this person said they would volunteer to do that. Here's someone who would help. And you could help community theater be become a bigger more bountiful thing. I mean, let's face it, the pandemic really put a damper on so much in our lives. We lost a number of our community theater companies because they just, well, you can't exist when you can't have people come and sit in your seats and, and see your productions. Um, I, I remember one of the ones that I was working with right up, we closed the weekend before the world closed down. We had no idea that was coming. And, you know, it took everybody by storm. And here we are, what, three years later now, trying to put everything back together, trying to start rolling it out again. No one's lost the passion. Just some of the spaces and people have moved on to other things. Well, we're trying to bring it back again. We're trying to bring that health back into our community theaters. And your donations to SARTA and your other participating community theaters will help do that. So think about that when you're looking at that Big Day of Giving website and all those wonderful, amazing organizations that are out there vying for your attention. You know, community theater does it for the love of what they're doing putting that kind of energy and talent on stage. Help them do that. Okay, let's take a look at what's coming up soon. Speaking of more community theater, because there's a lot of things that are going to be opening pretty quick here. Um, we have opening on May 6th, so that's going to come up this weekend. Uh, Roald Dahl's Matilda the Musical Junior is going to be opening at Davis Musical Theater Company, and this is part of their Young Performers Theater Group. Uh, Ron Cisneros is directing and choreographing with Montana Monroe and providing the musical direction. So you're going to want to get your tickets for this. It plays on Saturdays at 2. Um, 
and it's at the Gene Henderson Performing Arts Center in Davis. Tickets are $8 for all ages. Where else can you get that kind of entertainment for an $8 ticket? Come on. It's Matilda Jr., the musical. Coming up at Roseville Theater Arts Academy, this is another one that is specifically geared toward our young people. This is a children's and youth academy that works out there in Roseville, and they're always putting on amazing shows. They're doing Finding Nemo Jr. It's opening uh, this weekend also, May 5th, and it will be running through May 13th. Finding Nemo Jr., Saturdays. Uh, there, the show starts at 7.30. I mean, I'm sorry, 7 o'clock. They're earlier. 7 o'clock at the Roseville Theater Arts Academy, 241 Vernon Street in Roseville, California. Come on down and see some great theater. Also coming to Roseville Theater Arts Academy, following up Finding Nemo Jr. will be Disney's Newsies Jr. This is going to be June 23rd to the 25th at the Roseville Theater Arts Academy. You can get your tickets for this right now. Just go ahead and start planning out your summer uh, to be able to see some of these great productions that are going to be put on. Here's another one that's coming to Volcano. We're gonna go back up the hill a little bit to Volcano. They're going doing Beowulf and the Bard. Yes, this is an epic tale. Uh, and you may have uh, read this in, in one of your literature classes in either junior high or high school, but it's gonna be a bit of an update to the old English epic. Uh, they're framing this as Beowulf being one of your first superheroes. And if you think about it, the stories of like, Hercules and some of these other mythological larger than life individuals, they kind of were superheroes of their time. They went out and did all these wonderful things, you know, Odysseus and uh, running around uh, slaying creatures and uh, fighting things. It was wonderful. So Beowulf and the Bard is coming in June. This is June 9th through July 8th up at the Volcano Theater Company. This one will be in their amphitheater space this time. So it's got lots of room and you'll be in watching theater out under the stars. It should be great fun. Tickets are available now. So you can plan out part of your summer by getting your theater tickets bought. Then you don't have to worry about it again. You know what you're going to be doing on that weekend. Silent Sky is coming also to Volcano Theater Company. This is going to be another one that will be in the amphitheater. And it's going to be a kind of an amazing production because it's going to be out under the night sky. And it's about a true story of an astronomer named Henrietta Leavitt, who was doing this way ahead of her time from the 1900s. Uh, and Henrietta was the worked at Harvard University as a human computer, which as a woman that was, you know, someplace where she had to overcome a lot of obstacles and things. It led her to a scientific discovery that had profound and lasting impacts on the field of astronomy. I, I shared last week, I'm not even going to look this up because I want to go see the show. I want it to sort of unfold in front of me because I've never heard of her which is kind of like maybe a lot of women in science and STEM fields. You just don't hear their names, but they were instrumental in doing things and finding out things and helping with great discoveries. And unfortunately, someone else's name goes on the paperwork. So this one's going to be playing in August, August 11th through September 9th. But the tickets are on sale right now. So you can get your tickets for Silent Sky up at the Volcano Theater Company. Now, I just told you about the uh, auditions for this one. So this is now advertising that it is coming in September, September 15th through October 15th at Volcano Theater Company. They're going to be putting up a production of Noel Coward's Blythe Spirit. So this is a classic. It's a comedy. Uh, it's got haunted houses and fortune tellers and all kinds of things. So it's a very fit and apropos for the time of the season that it's going to be. Tickets are available now, of course, for this. So you can get your tickets for Blythe Spirit by Noel Cower at Volcano Theater Company. This one's going to be hosted in the historic Cobblestone Theater. So you're going to get your money, your uh, tickets soon because that theater is a little bit smaller than the amphitheater. So seats will sell out a lot faster. Yep, I'm going to talk to you about Big Dave Giving again, because we can't tell you enough 
how special this is. This really refreshes our budget each year. And if you think about it with some of the things that we've gone through and had to change, one of the big incomes for Sarda was partially doing the Ellie programs. And when we finally made the decision to let that go because you know, pandemic and everything else, and you know, even now, trying to reconstruct it would be a Herculean task. So that's just not an option anymore. But to keep us solvent, to keep us viable, we have to think of other ways that we can bring the theater community in touch with its patrons, which is why we're hosting, you know, tonight's starring and these different cabarets. And we host karaoke nights from time to time just to get together and see each other on a night when you're not having to do a production and say hello and, and, and connect. Um, we've gone out and played trivia in different places. It, it's great fun. And, you know, these are the things that we're working toward doing and being able to afford theater stipends and scholarship programs and things like that for our theater community. So I want to play for you another snippet of the cabaret that we had the other night. Again, we're going to do this again. We're thinking we might be able to pull one off this summer, but we're definitely going to do it again in November. So stay tuned, okay? Let's see. What is on this one? good stuff it was so so good um and we were so happy to be able to have amazing talent like francis banks who was the gentleman singing in the center of that last piece he actually approached us as a community member and said hey sarda i have this idea for a really cool fundraiser that we could do which would be like a a cabaret for you guys and would you be interested in, and we went, oh yes, what do we need to do to help get this off the ground? And this is what happened. It was outstanding, absolutely impressive and, and so memorable. Uh, when we do this again, you've got to come. You really do. We will do this again. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got something going on at your theater company, uh, if you've got something that you want to share with us, there's auditions coming up, you've got a special event happening, 
come to our website so we can publicize what's going on at your program or theater. Sarda.com under the section for shows and auditions is a form where you can put your information in. You can even upload your, your show posters and let us know what's going on at your theater. We will upload it to our community calendar. We will put it in our uh, newsletter that goes out. We have two newsletters that go out each week, one on Tuesday that has all the workshops and classes and things like that, and one on Friday that is very much like this, which has all of the special events and auditions, what's playing right now, what's coming soon, and the season schedules for the theaters that are participating with us. So we'll have it in several different places if you let us. So tell us what's going on so we can share it with everybody. Go to sarda.com and go to shows and auditions and upload your information to our page. If you have not already done so, if you're here with me tonight, please click the follow button on Twitch and follow us. When we come live on Tuesdays, you'll get a, a little ping on your phone that says, hey, Sarda's about to come on and tell you amazing things. And you'll be able to tune in and watch us here on Twitch TV. The best thing about this is this is free. We get to tell you about what's going on and it costs you nothing. And it costs us nothing. So that's a cool thing. But we do have to, you know, cover some costs for some of these things. So help us out. $5 a month would be an amazing evergreen donation if you wanted to become an evergreen donor with Sarda. So go to our website, click that donation button. Uh, go to the Big Day of Giving web website, click that donation button and make your donation. Follow us on Facebook at Sarda Theaters. Uh, we also have a YouTube page where all of this gets uploaded to for archives. So Twitch will hold this broadcast for two weeks and then it disappears. They make room for the next ones as we do on each week. But what we do is we download them and we save them over on um, YouTube at Sarda Theaters where you can go and you can see all the past broadcasts for the Twitch shows, for the community conversations. I think we even have our old, our very, very last Ellie's might have been up there too. So there's a lot of things in our, our um, YouTube page that you can go back and check out. So follow us. If you haven't already done so, please follow us. And finally, I tell you this each week, I hope you'll take me up on it. If, I, if you see me out there, please say hi. And I hope to see you at the theater. Thanks, everybody. It's been great. Um, have a wonderful week, okay? Bye.